A dog dewormer as a possible cancer treatment in people? Find out in this video. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. If you've yet to do so, click there to subscribe. And then when you click that link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. Advanced lung cancer, which had spread. Yeah, no chance for a cure just a few months to live. In 2016, a man by the name of Joe Tippins was given that exact diagnosis. He had been diagnosed with a very serious form of lung cancer called non-small cell lung cancer. Um, he had gone through radiation, he'd gone through chemo, the tumor had begun to shrunk. Um, he went in for follow-ups as far as called a PT scan turned out that he had multiple tumors all throughout his body, you know, his brain, liver, lungs. He said that he had dozens of tumors and he's told that there was no chance. There's nothing that conventional medication and conventional medicine can do for him. Two days after that PT scan, he talked to a friend who happened to be a veterinarian and told, told, told him about a dog dewormer called Panicure or Fenbendazole that had research and actually had some people showing uh, success where they had some of these un incurable cancers uh, that had been successfully treated with this dog dewormer. And he thought, you know, like, why not? Like, what do I have to lose? He did some research online, found that there are no noted serious side effects, generally considered safe for people. So he thought, you know, why not? I'm gonna treat myself. Uh, with this dewormer. He didn't tell his oncologist about his treatment because at the, at the very same time he was also in, uh, enrolled in an experimental drug trial which wasn't expected to make, make a dramatic difference with the cancers but it maybe helped extend his life. But he went ahead, did that fenbendazole, did that panicure treatment and lo and behold a few months later uh, he was being followed up with these PT scans found to be like completely cancer free. So when I first read this, I kind of wondered, really? But then I went further, did some more research, and it turns out there actually has been a number of different studies looking at this specific drug. Fenbendazole, a related drug called Membendazole, which is used to treat, uh, used for treating pinworms in people um, for its potential use as a drug to treat cancer. Turns out there are case reports showing it to be effective against uh, some people that had pancreatic cancer, colon cancer, this non-small non -small cell lung cancer, uh, melanoma. There's a type of brain cancer called the glioblastoma uh, and now it turns out that researchers at John Hopkins University were actually studying um, mice with this type of brain cancer. The mice had pinworms, they treated them with this fenbendazole, the panicure, and then guess what? All of a sudden, like these, this type of brain cancer started to, to shrink. So, and that happened in 2014. So yes, this seems like something really unusual and so hard to believe, like how can this, you know, simple horse and cow and dog and cat dewormer all of a sudden be used to treat, to treat cancer? Um, but I think what, what partly what's happening is researchers are now going back, they're looking at some of these older drugs and they're looking at like repurposing them. Secondarily, maybe we haven't explored all the potential uses. And yeah, it really looks promising. Is it gonna treat every type of cancer? And from more of the stuff that I've read, some people have had success, many people not. We don't fully understand it. But what I am gonna do, I'm gonna give you a list of some of the specific studies that have actually looked at fenbendazole and looking at it for treating the array of different cancers. We use this a lot in practice. So I actually went to the clinic just to pick up some panic here to show you guys. So this is the dewormer here. Um, I mean, known as the brand Panicure, at least when I was in practice, obviously it's the company's partly changed, but the actual name of the dewormer is fenbendazole. It's one that I liked in terms of it would treat most of the roundworms, would treat some of the tapeworms, and as well, it was also starting to be effective against uh, animals that had giardia. Um, a little bit better than metronidazole without the secondary side effects. The other big thing, right? Being effective without the side effects. So I actually, we use it quite a lot. No idea about its potential use for cancer. As far as doses, like if you're gonna say deworm 
pipster here, like say I'm trying to treat her for something like whipworms or giardia, a typical dog dose is fairly high. It's about 50 milligrams per kilo uh, for three to five days. So say if we call Pippi, if you're, let's call you 20 kilos, well that's 50 times 20, that is about a thousand milligrams. Pipster, which is 100 milligrams per mil, which is about 10 cc's. So this would be Pippi's one day dose. A thousand milligrams once a day for three to five days. As far as the human doses, from what, what I'm seeing, it's somewhere between five to 10 milligrams per kilo. Um, they're not publishing sort of specific regimens. Um, so when you're looking at this, say an average person, say they weigh 50 kilos, you know, 10 milligrams, 10 mg per kilo will be 500 milligrams, which would be half of this syringe. So that would be five cc's of this liquid. But obviously, if you are to have cancer, you would be talking to your physician and you'd be talking about some of the alternative treatments, such as potentially using fenbendazole, and you'd be getting the most current uh, specific doses. I'm also curious, though, on its potential uh, for helping treat cancer in our dogs and cats. I don't see any research on that yet, but if we're seeing that it's effective for some of these serious, you know, generally considered really difficult to treat cancers in people, you know, such as pancreatic cancer, you know, such as like a brain cancer, makes sense to me that it also could potentially be beneficial for some of the cancers in our dogs and cats. So I'll definitely keep, keep you guys updated as, you know, this uh, information progresses and more information gets published. Thanks so much for watching this video on using Panicure or Fenbendazole as a new treatment for cancer in people. If you've yet to do so, click up there to subscribe. And then when you click that link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book.